It's the part that I've talked about before with ADHD where you can want to do something and you can be at the place where you're like, everything is set up for me to do this thing. There's nothing in the world I want more than to do this thing that is in front of me. And for, for me, it's like any kind of work, anything like that. Um, but if I'm staring at the problem, I go back to when I was a, a teenager and I was like trying to practice trumpet and I was in my room, my trumpet was in my hand, chair was there, and it's the closer I got or I pushed myself to do that thing, the more there was sandpaper rubbing in my brain. I had a physical visceral reaction that pushed me away. But the part of that that's not necessarily just like that struggle, there's another voice in my head that's like, you are pathetic and worthless. Why can't you do this thing? You're fighting with yourself because you're like pushing yourself to do it. Your body and the subconscious mind is rejecting against it. And it's that abrasion that causes this crippling, like crippling inability to do anything. And it's like, that is kind of, uh, I think the crux of like some of the things that you're talking about, Bobby, it's like that, that abrasiveness is, is what I experience in almost anything that has to do with not like something enjoyable, uh, even if even if it is enjoyable. That's the thing. It can be something extremely enjoyable. I got to a point where I was playing video games, and I would be I would sit on the menu screen, unable to even log into World of Warcraft. Sometimes my favorite game at the time being like, I can't for some reason. I just was like, I want to play. Just log in and do something. And even if I logged in, I would just sit in the capital city and I would just jump up and down, without doing anything at all. And it was because I was locked in this crippling state of like not even indecisiveness it's the in complete inability to do anything but learning that about myself doesn't necessarily cure it at all it helped but the understanding is there it's just like i still hate that part of myself i still hate that that's what happens if i'm not like doing my adhd therapies if i'm not taking medication if i'm not doing these things it's like that part is there and it's in a huge way and it's like almost something that you can willpower yourself through sometimes but it's like it's just like it's just part of who you are. There's no actualization or manifestation that can push past it on a consistent basis. It's just really, really like a struggle. So that I actually, uh, in what you're talking about, Bob, I really do resonate with.